Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Iron Host Place 37 and welcome to Fallout 4. Today I am bringing you the War in the Commonwealth mod. One of the more difficult mods for Fallout 4 and I'm also playing on the survival difficulty. This is a challenge run, it's not permadeath, but I just want to see just how insane this game can be. So we just finished the Fallout New Vegas Randomizer series and I want to jump right into Fallout 4. It's been a while since I've played Fallout 4 in fact. Um, I actually haven't played it in possibly maybe half a year, maybe almost a full year at this point. It's been quite a while since I jumped into this game. Hopefully I can still remember most of the mechanics and don't absolutely <laughs> embarrass myself in front of all of you. But I don't want to make this intro too long. Let's make our character and see what the Wasteland has to offer for us today. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Oh, by the way, um, Absolutely. you may notice immediately that Stop hogging the, the game looks a bit right. cursed, especially Nora's face right here. Yeah, I installed the mod to make their facial animations look really over the top, just to make this a little more interesting. I, I figured that would be kind of the uh, the look I was going for. So we're still gonna play as Nate, our, our good old boy Nate, but I just want to change a few things. So. Say hello to Discount Wasteland Jesus here. Hey, He's kind of eh, pretty decent, but that's what, that's what our character is going to be. Him and his over-the-top facial expressions himself. Now let's make ourselves a decent wife. Ah, yes. I forgot to give Wasteland Jesus a beautiful, beautiful beard. It's not a great beard, but it'll have to do. Now he's, he looks like he's ready to patrol the Wasteland and see what kind of insanity he's about to meet him out there. Oh, yeah. This is all my mods loading in the background. Don't worry about it, all right? Don't worry about all this extra stuff that is currently loading in my inventory. Let's just completely ignore that. So apparently, uh, I have a mod that changes my player height. So now Wasteland Jesus is a little freaking short for uh, <laughs> creepy ass Nora here. So, all right. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <laughs> look at his face. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, it's so cursed. Speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of oh utmost my urgency, God. I assure you. Oh, uh, sure, dude. I'm here now. So, as I said, we are Wasteland Jesus, ready to preach to the Wasteland and show everyone who's boss. I know I want high agility, I know I want decently high luck. That's probably what's going to have to, what I'm going to have to deal with, but... Agility's just so good, and perception's really good, because, because of all the uh, perks in it, not so much the uh, actual stat itself. Um... Obviously, I would like more charisma intelligence later, but it's kind of what we're stuck with for now. And anything I can, anything I might need to fix once I get this perk tree in front of my face, that'll probably have to do for now. God, you're such nightmare fuel. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, <laughs> look at I was thinking face. we could head to the park for a Oh my God! <laughs> Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? All right, time to go. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault now. I've got charm. We're running. We are running. Ah, uh, yes. The all too familiar platform thing where I actually have a video on my channel where she steps off this platform and gets wrecked by the nukes. I will have the link in the description below for all Almost of you, as there. well as We're gonna be okay. all of the mods I'm using in my loader right you. now. Both of you. We love you too. Also, what is her oh face God. right now? Oh my God. As we get lowered into the vault, I would like to say a few things. So, I actually wanted to use the male voice randomizer mod with this uh, selection of mods to make the game a lot more interesting. Where basically your character will just say a bunch of gibberish. Well, you see, uh, when I had done my, my sound check, right, because I always do a sound check before these types of, of like, games, before I like play the game, I do a sound check video. And basically... Uh, it replaces literally every voice line in the game, and it's just not, it's not good. In fact, I actually made a little highlight reel for you. Cue the highlight right now. Oh my, what the frick? Thanks. More ammo is always useful. sorry, Codsworth. It was so sudden. Not even time for good bosses. Why am I so short? Stop hogging the mirror. the hell are you? Dr. Lee. Deezer's Lemonade, huh? The caravan definitely stopped in Covenant. All right. Overactive imagination. <laughs> Good morning. 
vault calling. Not right now. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. You'd be putting yourself in danger. Wonderful. That's everything. I'm uh, just gonna walk this... Is Tina DeLuca seeing anyone? I'm Tina DeLuca. Hey, where's <laughs> mine? That's worth a little paperwork, right? <laughs> Can we get started on my case? <laughs> Good answer. I felt bad for selling you. I had to make it right. What? What do you mean? What? The whole thing smells like a trap. Breaking through an underwater security grate in high radiation? Who cares? Just help me pack it up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but you need to get out of here. <laughs> shut <laughs> up, dude. What the <laughs> frick is this? Shut up. <laughs> what? Why don't you, know you what? shut Just up, bro? If you want to go, then go. I'm going. <laughs> Hi -ya. The whole thing smells like a trap. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. We love you too. Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. I suppose I a thought. few sacrifices had to be made in order You're to preserve the greater good. <laughs> the whole thing smells like a trap. The whole thing smells like a trap. The whole thing smells like a trap. They'll listen to me. I'll figure something out. You can consider this handled. Never mind. Thanks for nothing. So yeah, uh, you can tell that I had just a few problems trying to get that mod to work. It, there, there was a lot going on. And I've also tried out how War of the Commonwealth works, and it, it does work. It's just, oh man, I have no idea what I'm, about to, what I'm about to be in store for. So hopefully you guys are very much entertained by what's about to happen, and hopefully I don't hate my life. Oh no! Anyway! So, we've woken from our, from the, our cryogenic slumber and are ready to take on our adventure here. But first, we gotta open this control panel and take our wife's turning ring because it's actually worth quite a lot. So, why not? And since our charisma is like, basically worthless, a wedding ring can't be that bad. Also, hope you guys like my, uh, my, my vault suit. I have a nice little mod for that, like I said before. All of my mods, at least the mod names them, will be in the description. I don't know if I'll take the time to link all of them. That's a lot. That's gonna be a lot of work. But all of the names of the mods that I'm using here, if you want to play along at home, they will all be in the description below. As usual, grab just about everything. Okay, so these two rad roaches here are are the big problem rad roaches because they always like to dive at you from far away. I'm glad I actually dodged that guy. I haven't been hit yet, by the way. Um, a bit of ransacking and murder later. And this is the last round which we gotta dodge. So, run away. It doesn't look like you hit me, thankfully. Okay, perfect. <laughs> thank you, Vats. Thank you, thank you, Vats. Because we need to grab, like, as, as much supplies as we can while we're in the vault. Because I definitely don't plan to come back here. Not even when he says this. Nice. Coming back later for you. Um, I'm, I'm really not. I really don't need the cryolator at all. It's probably completely worthless, especially in this playthrough. So I'll just get on the terminal here and open the evacuation tunnel. And now, the real fight begins. This whole hallway is just full of rad roaches, and I'm sure you all know this, obviously. But, quite a few here. Even on survival difficulty, these guys can be pretty tough. Use vats to locate them. It auto aims for me. There's a gigantic rad roach over there. And then take them all out. One of them is conceptually aware of me right now. Aha, he's on his way. Nice. That should be all of them, hopefully. I'm not sure. I'd rather not take any risks here. Every hit that I take is a chance at a disease pool. And the last thing I need is a chance at getting a disease before I even leave the, the vault. That is not what I want. Now I say that, but I'm about to run out here like a madman and hit this thing in the, in the back. I hit this guy as he spawns. Perfect. <laughs> and I pick up our pit boy. Now our pit boy looks a bit different because I have another mod for that. I kind of like this all black style pit boy. It just kind of seems a bit more stylish in my opinion. I do appreciate Fallout 4's spectacle of just opening the vault. like. It's, they make a big deal about it, and Bethesda's really over the top about a lot of things in their games, but 
it is nice sometimes when, like, you know, I, I think back to, like, the first time I played this game. Every time I open this vault door, like, you get a sense of nostalgia when you go back to it. Which is kind of funny because this game's only, what, uh, four and a half years old recording this video? Like, Fallout 4 has so much, like, to it. It's not the greatest game ever, but I, I do have to admit, what it's good at, it's really good at. Let's head up out of the vault and see what kind of insanity of witches on the surface. By the way, the game just made a hard save for me, so I'm not going to spawn back, like, in my cryo chamber if I die immediately. Because I, I literally could die on my way to sanctuary, to sanctuary Hills, it's kind of strange. So, the way War of the Commonwealth works is that the enemy spawns are, like, absolutely insane now, and basically anything can spawn anywhere, including right outside of the spawn. So I could literally be ambushed as I get out of the vault, which kind of does make it like a wild wasteland sort of thing. So I have to be immediately very careful with what I'm doing. Oh man, the wasteland, it stretches out in front of me. Oh, it's beautiful. What do I hear? I'm hearing something. All already. Rad roaches. That's meat! How many of them? There's quite a few of them, actually. There goes my disease pool. But, got some free meat off that. I should be very careful. See, I'm already like close to being detected again. I don't know what's, what's close by. Anything can be close by. We're already in the wasteland. This is the part where I get a bit stressed out. Don't worry about it. Okay. We'll use what we can. This is a very intense survival situation. Looks like we got some Molotovs. That could be useful. Although, I'm, there's also a huge chance of me blowing myself up. Either way. Yo, Codsworth, my man, how's it going? Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? <laughs> you think he's acting a little weird? About that. So, I've just told Codsworth to go murder some bugs for me. And while he does that, I'm going to loot our own house. And picking up our good old special book here. I would like to increase my agility one more time. Having this high agility unlocks the ninja perk, which is very convenient because I feel like I'm going to be playing very passively but not actually because I just don't know what's going to come at me and I'm going to try and probably get like a sniper build in this. It's probably the only way we're going to be able to survive this, this playthrough, honestly, with the insanity. Okay, well I'm glad Cods would kill those guys in one shot because I could Ooh, got him. Nice. So immediately we just get a level up. And I, I'm not really sure what I want to put it into. But for now... Well, that could be a, a number of things. But I think I'm going to increase Lone Wanderer. Because I don't exactly plan to have a companion. And if I do have a companion, it's probably just going to be dog meat. So we're going to take that immediately just so I can get our, our carry weight up to, you know, by 50%. Or 50%, wow. By 50, like, weight. And now it's time to establish ourselves a base of operations. Now, I don't actually plan to stay in Sanctuary Hills because everyone knows that Hangman's Alley is the best settlement because of its location on the map. Therefore, we're really just going to make ourselves a bed to sleep in and get our sleep all the way back down because adrenaline really isn't that important to us right now. We don't exactly need it, so as I scrap these things, that just, yeah, whatever, we don't really need this stuff. And who knows what I'm going to see on my way to Concord, but yeah. Did I really just call it Concord? I think it's pronounced Concord, but I, I don't really want to, I don't know. I don't know. So, some Bostonian in the, in the comment section, tell me how it's pronounced. Thank you. Uh, first pronunciation of Concord or Concord, uh, the second pronunciation. To get ourselves a nice, you know, well-balanced uh, amount of sleep. I'll just sleep for seven hours. We had, a, we had uh, our food and drink levels fine before we fell asleep here. So hopefully we should be fine without the game freaking out. Okay, now it's, you know, in the afternoon. We're not hungry or thirsty yet, so that's good. I've just double-checked. We're, we're still on survival difficulty, so I should be getting hungry soon. Or at least thirsty. I do have some purified water on me. I got it from the vault while I was picking up bottles, and I filled them up while I was there. So we should be okay on that front. I'm pretty sure there's a rad roach that spawns in this house here. Yes, you. Aha. Give me your meat, sir. 
I knew about you too. All right. I knew someone spawned out of that. All right. And there's one more rad roach. Actually, there's two more. There's one right here who spawns in, in the bottom of this place here. Come on out. Walk out, please. Always oh, exploiting. He hit me. Dang. That's unfortunate. Or did he hit me? I don't know. It looked like he hit me. I was like to stand on top of that car just in case. And now we can cook in peace. Big float fly, that'd be good. As well as some grilled rad roach. Plenty of grilled rad roach, in fact. Now we have low intelligence, we don't have idiot savant yet. So we won't exactly have a lot of XP for a while. Which is, so it's okay, I guess. But we will need to find a way to get some easy experience. Now without settlers, this place could actually, uh, you know, get attacked at basically any point. But I'm pretty sure you need at least some food or some amount of like people here for it to actually come under attack because as of right now it should be mostly safe because we don't have anything so we just scrap some of these buildings here we can get some decent uh well you know scrap and junk I'm also gonna move the cooking station back over here although i don't know how smart this is because i'll always be coming from that direction like maybe i shouldn't have my base up here at this house but maybe down there at that house where this thing was oh well i'll work on that later Okay, so just past Sanctuary Hills, I believe there's a bag here. Yeah, there's a nice little military bag here that has a, pulp, a pipe revolver rifle. So, with that, it should be a decent amount of damage. There's not much uh, ammo for it, but that should be okay. Now, as long as we don't talk to the dog, the mole rats should not spawn here. For now I can't do what I want to at Red Rocket, so we're actually going to bypass this place and just head on in and see what the raiders are. Um, forged already? Oh my god. So many of them. Okay. Uh, probably can't fight them. Are the blood bugs still here? No. No. Okay, that's a bunch of forged. I can't exactly fight them, so... Yeah. How about we don't? How we don't pick a fight with, with those intense raiders because they are, you know, higher leveled. We could die at any moment from anything, so we might as well hope for the best, right? Looking for easy XP to level up. Or maybe some good hunting would be good. Just to try and establish myself in this part of the map. Now, based off War in the Commonwealth, I believe that the spawns don't exactly matter, but hopefully we'll be able to find some decent things. Wild mongrel by himself. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. Easy XP. Alright. Just kinda... Okay, I shot him once. Here he comes. He's coming at me. Hopefully I can kill him. 77 to the right leg. That's fine. Here he Come on, shoot him. Come on, Wasteland Jesus. You can do it. And he goes flying. Alright, that's perfect. There's no one else around? Good. Good. Now, why did I come back to Sanctuary Hills, you ask? To loot some more. I feel like that I should prepare myself just a bit more. Got it. Just in case. As soon as I saw those forged, I was like, yeah, no. You know, perhaps I, I shouldn't just be able to, you know, walk right into to Concord. Because it's, it's just going to kill us all. It's just going to kill us. And I can lose, you know, upwards to a long amount of playtime as soon as I die. So I would rather not die without taking a good save first. So really... Throughout this playthrough, there might be a nice. few close calls, and there might be a lot of backtracking and long episodes. And by long episodes, I mean not for you guys. You guys aren't going to see that long of an episode. The, the goal is to be about 30 to 40 minutes per episode, by the way. So if this is over that, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I must have done a bad job editing or something, because there's a lot to talk about, since this, this playthrough is very strange. But so far, it's been a mostly normal playthrough of Fallout 4, and that's what, that's what you would expect for the first episode. It's just the, the gearing up for all the craziness. Okay, hopefully I'm carrying the right amount of stuff now to build a turret over at the Red Rocket place to help me kill those, those mole rats. Because I feel like if I get surrounded and die, I'm going to be very, very sad. Also, we are currently thirsty. I can see it in the lower right-hand corner. We are now properly hydrated. That's good. We are just parched. That's not so bad. Um, I have kind of the place anywhere mod, by the way. So we're kind of able to just kind of put them on top of that car. There. Now hopefully, 
We can greet the dog. Now stay. Over here. Hey, buddy. Buddy, hey. buddy. Stay. Wait there. Okay. You stay there. And I'm going to stand way over here. I'm going to stand way on the top of this of this thing here. And we're going to hide out. Now, now if, you, if you've seen someone else's play through this before, this is totally not the exact same thing of what we had before. Okay. Uh, I may be taking inspiration from someone else, but it's fine. We're just... Just being careful. See, uh, I'm using my resources. All right. So hopefully, uh, now that we've created him, the the mole rats will show up very shortly. Go turret, go. Shoot them down, please. Now I, I will even cover fire from way the heck over here. That uh, that is how I will be doing this. Um, if we crit that guy, why not? Guaranteed hit on him. He took that like a champ. All right. Sheesh. Perfect. Heat spawn. It's okay. So I guess that means it's just the random encounters that are cha that are changed in this mod. It's not okay. anything else. Come on. Cool. Now I want you to actually Heads go up. back to Sanctuary Hills. Just just saying. Hey, can you talk to me, please? Move here. Come back over here, please. That's right, dog. All right, talk. How are you doing, buddy? Okay, I want you to go you... to Sanctuary. All right, and I'll leave. Thank you. And this turret could be useful. You never know. It won't take out the forge down here, but it could be a nice, you know, handy thing. Now, the forge is still there. That's the question. Because it looks like they've already despawned and something else is probably there and ready to kill me. Very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, so just in the middle of this garage, we're just going to have a nice bed to have another cat nap because now we've saved the game. Now, that made me hungry, but that's okay. I will gladly take being slightly hungry over you know dying and then having to do all of that over again okay after a bit of cooking and other things we are now ready to continue on hopefully we can uh, not die immediately after this I do want to see what the Raiders are like here because they could be something different who knows this isn't a, as, as random as like the New Vegas randomizer which is kind of sad because I would love to have a mod that is Fallout 4 randomized with the same rules of New Vegas. Like I, I was hoping that like the guy who made the New Vegas one would make the Fallout 4 one, but he hasn't yet. So we're just kind of stuck here. Or maybe one of you can do it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> if you're a mod out there aspiring to be aspiring for greatness, please, please, uh, I'm requesting you make the Fallout 4 randomizer, and I will easily cover it. That's what I want in life. I want to make my games broken. Oh man. Okay, so the same raiders are here. And they're following the same rules as survival mode. So, let's hope, let's hope Jesus can do this. Um, I'm hearing extra shots, like more than usual. Bit nervous about that. Also, I have Molotovs. Molotovs are like one shot kills in these guys. In fact, Take that. Hopefully that kills him. Nice. Alright, cool. So now they're kind of aware of me, but not really. That's that's fine. That's fine. This is, this is fine, guys. This is fine. As long as they don't see me. Oh, what the frick? Forged! Oh, no. Kill her. Kill her, kill her, shoot her in the face right now. Okay, we gotta go, go, go. Oh god, we gotta go. They have, they have dangerous weapons. They have dangerous weapons. Okay, what did I just grab off her? Caged arm. Ooh, nice. All right, that that's fine. We don't really need the stuff we had. Oh shit, a flamethrower, a flame, a flamer. That's good. Um, we need to leave actually. So um, so we just need to run. We're just gonna run until we're out of, until we're out of danger. Out of line of sight means we're not in danger anymore. And if we're out of danger, we are we are, we are happy and diddly diddly dee. Um, let's eat some food here real quick. Got some healing going on. Um, it's not fast healing, obviously, because it's survival, survival mode, but get out of caution. Let the forge take them out for me. That'll do it. Then the Preston of Garvey can do something else. Hopefully the forge and the raiders are on the same side. That'd be, that'd be terrible. Okay, 
Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Yeah, they're, they're still... What? Where did the forged go? You're telling me the, the normal raiders took out the forged. Unless... Yeah. Yeah, actually. They did. Very interesting. Because I, I saw that... I saw that guy in power armor and I was like, huh. Like, okay. Oh, that was a perfect hit. Did you guys see that? Oh my god. Easy. Right in the face. Oh, wow. How'd you miss? Wow. Okay, well, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Firefight. Not good. I shot him once. That's good. He's coming closer. Okay, got one more shot in the skin before I get reload. The forged are still here. That's not good. Hey. How did you miss a 94% chance? How did I do that? Okay. You, sir, need to die. Oh my god. I'm wasting good ammo here. Nice. Alright. That's that out of the way. I'm still in danger. I don't know what, see what sees me. Hopefully no one's flanking me, because if they are, I'm screwed. A feral ghoul. What? Could that be it? Is that what sees me? I think it's the forged. There's a feral ghoul there, though. Just patrolling. Okay. Oh man, I'm just don't have taken out a forged leader right now. Now without like a nuke. Yeah, we need we need to run. If those ghouls see me, I'm screwed. This game, this this is over. Keep it stealthy, boys. Keep it stealthy. Flank around the outside if we can. What is going on over there? Super mutants. Super mutants, wherever there. Yeah, dude, war in the Commonwealth is wild. Alright. Put on those frag grenades. So that's all we have to take care of these guys. Oh, that was an explosion? Alright. It wasn't me, though. That's good. Okay. Okay, killed somebody. That's not too bad. See, this isn't terrible. Now, who knows if they're searching for me? We'll just use our third person camera to try and see them. Oh, that did a lot of damage to him. Good. Hit him with that. Nice. I took him out. Nice. He didn't see me. He didn't see me. They heard my shots and he got shot, but he did not see me. That is good. He's way over there. Take the shot. Oh. He's way too far away. Nice. Good job, Preston. I'm pretty sure that was Preston Garvey who killed him. Hope it's Preston. If it's not him, I don't know who else would be shooting me right now. Hey, up here. Oh. Wait, what? Preston, get the get back up on that roof. But they're not the almost through the door because you're right here. What? Preston, you came down here to fight the forged by yourself. What? Bro, Preston actually freaking walked down here to fight them. That's awesome. Alright. Dedication I I guess. Sheesh. Man. That Raider power armor? Oh. We're not we're not in the clear yet, boys. It's raining really hard now. Um I believe I also installed the weather mod that could be causing this insanity right now. So there's that also. This could be a form of Brad Storm very soon. Let's get inside. Okay, get down. I hate that there's no cover in this room at all. Like, there's literally no cover. Like, we could literally die here at any point, but no, game. Put 
Run, 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 run. Okay. No more British occupation. I agree. I want to shoot this guy. We can kill him. We can kill him. Okay, got that guy. That's another level up. That's good. Actually, well, let's store two level ups that we're here. Now that we're here, it's fine. Um, I mean, I want to take riflemen, but like, we literally. Okay, I'll take riflemen anyway, but we don't have anything for it, which kind of sucks. Um, could also be using ooh, bloody ones just for an extra five percent damage. Ooh, I don't know, dude. Hmm. Idiots of all. We need the extra XP. That'd be good. Okay, do that. Let's hope I don't die here. We're at full health, but we'll, we'll see what happens. There's usually a guy in here with a double barreled shotgun. And he could kill me in like two shots. Oh, ow. Ow. Shoot him. Yeah? Oh. What a shot that was. What a shot. Now we're still in danger. Oh, that guy up there. Okay. Use the laser musket thing now that we have riflemen. We should be doing a lot more. Oh, not a lot. We should be doing more damage than we did before. Good dodge. Good dodge. I saw that. How about. Ah, I can't hit him from there. They come back this way, though. They're a little screwed. It's fine. Grab the fusion core, that's good. That puts like, what, five pounds on us? They're pretty, pretty heavy, those dang things. Either way, take some duct tape as we're going by. We have this thing, we should be able to shoot this guy as we walk up here, hopefully. Because we're still in danger. I don't know by who. <laughs> There's Idiot Savant. Okay. Now, do I still have a grenade on me? I wanted him to walk this way, so I just did that. So he'd walk this way a little bit. Go. Got him. <laughs> okay. Use this to see, see where he's coming from if he runs around. Because the enemies in this game are kind of smart. If they see you a little bit, they will walk towards you. It's like this guy. He knows. See? How's it going? So we just blew those two guys up pretty easily. Wait for the flames to go away and continue on. I think we're doing pretty well so far. Wait for him to walk to that door and then shoot him. Hope for the best. Okay, he died. That was good. All right. Next guy will walk to the door right, right about now. Right? I missed. Hold up. It's coming down the steps right now. Come on. 70%, please. 70%. Other guy? No, no, no one else. Okay. Oh, I guess we killed them. Perfect. Okay, Preston, hold up. I want to loot the bodies first. You gotta be patient, my man. Okay, Preston Gravy, let's do this. Man, I don't know who you are. <laughs> it's just <laughs> impeccable. <laughs> Preston Garvin, Commonwealth Minutemen. God damn it. Hello there. You owe me. Yeah, sure thing. I'll give you my chest full of emeralds. Just as soon as we're out of this mess. Nice. Propco fun. Not bad. Hey, and perception on. bobblehead. Do I want to talk to you? Not really. Not desperately. Yeah, Moving on. Something coming. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's angry. That, that's nice, Mama Murphy. I don't care. Okay, back out into the rain we are. Hopefully there's nothing crazy about just around the corner, but it could be very possible that out of nowhere we're just about to get wrecked by, I don't know, more raiders. How do they already know about this? Like, okay. I will definitely be taking this, this power armor, though. It's huge. Also, they literally already have seen me. Like, wow, all right. Very impressive. So this is a guy right across the roof here. We need to take him out. He got hurt once. Well, let's see here. There we go. I know we have the minigun, but we really don't need it. Gristle, my man. Bye, kid. Boom. Ah, uh, pop goes his head. All right, that was easy. 
I missed. See me and Preston were both out here with our with our laser muskets. Great work. I can barely see that guy. I got him though. And it's it's raining out right now. It's very rainy. Okay. I should probably just drop down and hope for the best, right? We should be pretty much overpoweredly safe in this power armor. We'll have to see though. Let's let's get it. Hello there. Wait, minute what a minute man? Hey, what's up, random minute man? Hold up, I, I gotta loot this guy right in front of us. I'm gonna pause time real quick. Got our Vegas storage key. Short hunting rifle, thank you. We're good on the carry weight because we have, you know, strength of ten now, thanks to you know the power armor. Oh uh, watch out, minute man. I shot that I, I shot that vehicle a little bit. Be careful. Be careful. Hello there. Minuteman guy, you're gonna explode! Also, where are all these Minutemen coming from? Like, we look at the full-on Minuteman patrol right now. About to fight this death claw. I'm really nervous about that truck, by the way. Run past the truck. Okay, I've spawned the death claw. Spawned the death claw. Perfect. Hopefully the minute men, the minute men can take care of him, right? Totally. Let's just let the minute men do it. Aha, there he is. Hope you didn't mind, sir. All right, where's this death claw? At? I take care of him, all right. Oh, she, she's a little strong today. That's nice. Now, this death claw is actually Baby's first death claw. He's not, it's not that intense. Although he can't hit me through the floor, so I should be you know, wary of that. Um, pull him up a little bit, there we go. There we go, that should, that should knock him out just a little bit. Just keep throwing these at him. <laughs> just keep throwing Molotovs at him. Oh, he's crippled, look at him, he can't do, ow, that hurts. Rude, bro. Pop out, you know you want to. Okay, I literally can't hit these guys. Hold up. Pistol time. <laughs> they weren't ready. Poor Deathclaw. Poor Deathclaw. He wasn't ready. He just couldn't handle it. Too many explosions in his face. Still pretty strong though, but I don't need this ammo, so we're just gonna use it on him. Bye Deathclaw. Thanks for the level up, appreciate it. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I'll take it. Shout out to this power armor. Drop the minigun. Drop the tire iron. And now we're good. Yeah, we don't need those things. We won't need them at all. I was worried there for a second. Because our, our legs will casually just cripple. You're welcome. Hey, it was it was actually your Minutemen that distracted him for me. But sure, dude. No problem. I'm on my own side, Garvey. That's, that's, shame, that's, that's Jesus for you. You can never have too many friends in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said we owed you for helping us out. Yeah, these facial expressions actually fit him very me. well. So here. It may not be a chest full of emeralds, but it'll have to do. Sure, dude. Thanks, bro. I'll take what I can get. Hmm. Anything out here? Okay. I'll hop back in the power armor, but I'm not picking up that stuff off the ground that can have it. I don't need that flamer or those, the minigun or whatever. See, the reason why I chose survival mode for this is because there is, like... A big consequence to me dying. Like I, I can't just reload to the save in the same building. If I die, I get teleported way, way back to the bed where I woke up in the beginning of the day. It's it's very punishing, which is why I like survival mode. Also, you can't just fast travel everywhere. Like you don't know what's gonna happen. It it forces you to deal with the random encounters, which is kind of why it makes sense to do uh, this mode, like with this mod in the background. You know, seeing the forged everywhere and not knowing what's gonna come at me. Oh man, it's it's a really refreshing experience. It's not to the level of what I would like with you know a, a Fallout 4 randomizer mod, but it does a good job. What an interesting way to start out the playthrough. Anyway, we'll, we'll bring our power armor back and uh, set settle things. 
we can just settle down a little bit. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. Um, I'm going to keep antibiotics on me just to take care of the uh, of um, the one disease known as infection. But I will be um, taking into account any disease that I get. I will not be using antibiotics on any disease that, that I come across unless it's infection and I'm taking damage over time. I could just mod that out too, but I just, you know, forgot to mod that out when I was thinking about it. So I'm still at risk of infection and I will keep antibiotics on me just in case. But other than that, we will let every disease stand from now on for the rest of the playthrough. But that is enough for now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of War of the Commonwealth. It's very, very interesting, and I hope you guys stick around for more episodes. So, with that being said, it has been I, your host, Splice37, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.